Hey, it's Peach Dude Man, and we got Zayid. What's up, Zayid? What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. And that's it. Now we have Zayid. Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. Well, I, I want to recruit you. For help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Oh, wow, that'd be I great. I not promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. So not just Zayi, but his mercenary forces, too? That sounds awesome. Who were those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Oh. Should have studied the job longer. Who were those people you were with? Oh yeah, it's, uh, I guess that's it. I know you can you, you can so talk to him about like Blue Sun's soon. leadership, like Darner Vosk and stuff. The job but maybe he's not going to tell us that yet. Who were those people? You were yeah, I guess not. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at fifty-fifty. This is a uh, Batarian terrorist. Obviously, he's not the one running the Batarian goat. He's not at the console. Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. Oh. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony when they regret. <laughs> Don't have the strength to. I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Yeah. <laughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Okay, that doesn't make any less true. Do you have any remorse? I do. There are a lot of innocent Batarians. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. I really tried. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful. <clears throat> if you have any real guilt, show some mercy. What do you mean? <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. I mean, I guess at that point, it's the least I can do. I mean, it might, that might sound, sound kind of grim, but... You know. Yeah. Well, we still got lots more things to do down here. So let's get on it. Oh, this is the guy we're supposed to negotiate those trades with. Excellent. That will really get people's attention. Thank you, Commander. That should be enough footage. Come meet me again when you're able. All right. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. Well, Garrus was helping for a while. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I know. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by. Excuse days. me? We're already in an alliance with the Krogan. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. What? Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. Yeah, definitely with not. With our day-to-day -day worries... It's easy to forget we are all in this together. I guess. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. 
Yeah, you, know, you have to go through a goose chase if you don't have enough, you know, reputation. But we do. We're all good. What's up, Doc? I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. A what? No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Oh, shit. That sounds like something to take care of. Where's this Cerberus preacher at? Cerberus preacher? Oh, well, as long as we got the last console here, let's take care of that. Please, we just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. Prothean ruins on Gay Hinnom in the Hades Nexus. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something valuable. Please, my family is starving. All right, let's take care of this console first and these Batarian codes that are, you know, terrorizing people. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. What? Oh, shit. Who is this? Shepard. Oh, my God, it's Bell. you. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. This is the villain from uh, the Bring Down the Sky DLC that we did back in Mass Effect 1. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes, after you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Oh. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? Yeah, I just took care of that, actually. The Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yep. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. Uh-huh. And they got... And then they yep. Became they got indoctrinated, didn't they? When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allies. That's how the Reapers took down the Batarians so quickly. From within because of you. That is not my fault whatsoever. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? Yes, they feel bad for your people. trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped council transmissions. Oh. You have an I'm army? The highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. I can't save my people. But I can end you. So wait, you've got pretty much all that's left of the Batarian army. Dude, join us. Join our forces. I, I hate you, but I need you right now. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. What? They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people. Ah! Our ships are yours. Wow. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Yeah, I'm teamed Let up with go. a couple other criminals already. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. Because even though uh, Balak is a terrorist, he is a high-ranking officer in the Batarian mm -hmm. army. And like you said, he's the last one. He's the only us who can offer any Batarian support for the war. And he just did. You will not get that mission if you kill Balak in uh, Bring Down the Sky. However... If you never even did bring down the sky, you actually still get that one. Interesting tidbit. We are looking for a Cerberus spokesperson who has sabotaged Metagel containers. Here he is. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why? Why? Why is it you? Why are you here? Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard... It should be good enough for us. What? Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you Your again. hair has gotten getting Cerberus gray, man. Too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh, no. 
I screwed up again, didn't I? Oh my god, Conrad! Just, I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really scared. <laughs> yeah, you, he says that dialogue is of the glitch I talked about back in Mass Effect 2. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Oh, God. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Okay, but I might be able to help you with uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't... You really think you can help? Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reavers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy... Wait, what? Really? Yes, in fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with... Holy shit! Hang on. I have an old contact. All right. Ah, uh, come on, Hossel, help me out. Sorry, the war has... Ah, oh, but we helped Gavin Hossel. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? Back in, uh, on, uh, Pharos. For me. Otherwise, know, we wouldn't get this help. Who knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. All right, cool. Good thing we did that mission back in Mass Effect 1. Oh, no. It's in an ancient Asari dialect. We need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Hey, I collected a bunch of those in Mass Effect 1. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writings help? Uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay, it's auto-translating. Let's see. Oh, no. The technology falls under an existing patent. Oh, what? I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos. Hey, I bought one of those in Mass Effect 1. There we go. How did you even? Well, this is great. Okay, here you go. Hope this helps you build that dark energy. Great, device. super. Anyway, good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here. So Don't yeah, you can only get that Boris set, that dark energy dissertation, and, and everything that it does if you've done all those little side quests from Mass Effect One. <laughs> and, oh man, that, it's so funny that they bring all that back. Weren't you running a shelter for war orphans on Ilium? Yeah, it was doing well until the Reapers attacked. Ended up spending most of what I had left getting the kids off world. I'm sorry if that was... No, you did the right thing. Thanks. You doing okay? I'm doing great. Listen, can I ask you something though? Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? I gotta do it. We'll defeat them or we'll die trying. There's no other option. Yeah, okay. Listen, another question. Do you really think you'll defeat I, I the just Reapers? answered that. You just asked me that, Conrad. Sorry. I like to ask all the questions I can think of, and sometimes I forget which ones I've asked already. I should go. Uh, like at this point, uh, this is actually post-commentary. My uh, audio glitched out, and... Uh, uh, what? See so, yeah, the rest After of this episode, clip. I'm just post-commentating. Oh, I really like this story, though. I'm going to let this, this, this one play out. Wait. Where do these thermal clips come from? I thought weapons cooled down. They used to. After the Geth attack a few years back, we switched to thermal clips. Well, that sounds like a major step backward. You see, I what totally agree with Conrad back? on this. The soldiers can pop in a new clip instead of waiting for the gun to cool. Fine, sure. You can still wait for your gun to cool down on its own, though. Right? Well, no. The in-gun cooling tech was sacrificed to make room for the thermal clip. <laughs> like, what the okay, hell? that's just... <laughs> you might as well be going back to limited ammunition. Exactly, Conrad is the it's only smart one in this situation. We used to have guns with unlimited ammo in Mass Effect. Why don't we have that anymore? Um, in the galaxy know that. Um, anyone back on Earth? No. I mean, extranet friends and such. But I don't really have any... Wait a minute, didn't, didn't Conrad say something about having a wife? Conrad, do you even have? I'm, a, I'm doing some post commentary yes. because my audio glitched yes, out. Yes, yes. Well, no, but see, Conrad, if you have some kind of weird shrine of me, I'm going to be very unhappy. It's just a poster with a few candles. It's very tasteful. Ugh. Shouldn't you go repair that medical station? 
I mean, people are dying, right? Oh yeah, that's a good point. But yeah, actually, no, I, I did a big recording session and then I noticed um, like several episodes I had recorded lost their audio. Now you don't have to worry about the next few episodes. I like went back to an old save point and re-recorded it and redid it all, which was kind of annoying, honestly, but um, it's all good now. I just went back to like the first area where it happened and I was just like, okay, I'll post commentate the rest. Cause like previously, um, I lost audio in an episode and I just decided, you know, whatever. And then I don't know, a lot of people were like, well, you should really put a post commentary in there. So it's not just, you know, silence or just the game sounds. And that's very true. So that's why this time I am, uh, post commentating. I'm uh, taking guys up on that suggestions. I, I really appreciate you guys is, um, uh, comments and suggestions. Um, I'm always worried about things like, is my sound too loud? Is my sound not loud enough? Is the music too loud in the background? Stuff like that. So any comments are just, are, are really, really appreciated so I can keep on, you know, coming up with better and better content for you guys. Alrighty, we're finishing up this mission right now with, uh, fixing up the Metagel, the Metagel dispensers. dispensers. should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Hey, Conrad, what's up? Got... Something to tell us? Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you. You're under arrest. All right. <laughs> What's with that? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Um, well, I'll be okay, though. Wait, what? No. No, not Conrad. <laughs> A car punch. Conrad, speak to me. Oh man, we're getting so many deaths in this yeah. war. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was wait, 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 wait. Overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. <laughs> it's Jenna from Mass Effect 1! So here's another Mass Effect 1 thing. If you didn't do that whole mission with Rita and Jenna, then Conrad Werner will die there. But since we did that mission, Conrad Werner is okay. I really, really love all the references they did with this particular state segment in Mass Effect 3, where they have like all, they bring back everything from Mass Effect 1. It really rewards you and shows off all this cool stuff from uh, if you. Uh, did everything in Mass Effect 1, and if you played through Mass Effect 1, and did all those missions. And, uh, hey, now it looks like Conrad Werner might actually get a wife. Because, uh, that was kind of creepy. I was at the shrine to me and everything. Okie dokie. Um, I think this episode is cutting off soon. That pretty much takes care of all of our, um, missions on the Citadel, I think. I, I don't remember because I haven't edited the next episode that comes out, uh, after this yet. But I'm pretty sure on the next episode, um, we, I don't know, maybe we wrap up some other stuff in the Citadel and then we get back onto the ship and we're going to start um, recruiting the Quarians into our war effort.